Alexa, run a GPT agent to automate my life. Suddenly, Amazon becomes useful again. Well, good evening. If you thought OpenAI was slowing down, not at all. They just walked into Amazon Web Services and said, how many GPUs do you have? AWS, yes. Today, OpenAI inked a $38 billion seven-year deal with Amazon to secure hundreds of thousands of NVIDIA GPUs, including the next-gen GB200 and GB300 Blackwell chips. The translation? If you have H100 stacked in your basement, check your inbox. Sam Altman might already be emailing you. And there is no unplugging OpenAI anymore. The computer addiction is real. Chips, power, land, energy, wafers, data centers. Everything is being swallowed at planetary scale. This isn't just a cloud deal. This is OpenAI officially diversifying away from Microsoft as the only artery. Think of it like, well, polyamory for GPUs. Except trillions of dollars are involved. As for Microsoft, core backbone, $250 billion Azure commitment. Oracle, $300 billion cluster deal, SoftBank plus Oracle. Stargate, $500 billion supercluster push. Core Weave, $22.4 billion training pipeline. Google Cloud, TPU access and redundancy. Now, AWS, well, basically is $38 billion plus Blackwell clusters. So as you can see, this is not a partnership strategy. This is global compute colonization. And India is already on the map. OpenAI has very quietly begun early conversations with Reliance and top Indian data center operators. Think Jamnagar, Navi Mumbai, Chennai for a Stargate class 1 gigawatt sovereign compute hub. Not speculation. India is actually being scouted as the next AI power plant. Reliance is already planning 1 to 1.2 lakh crores, which is about 12 to 15 billion dollars for a 1 gigawatt AI data center campus. And OpenAI wants to be plugged into the fastest growing compute hotspot on the planet. Because in the new world, if you have power, land and GPUs, you are actually a superpower. Looks like silicon is the new oil. Data centers are the new sovereign borders and OpenAI is the first country built out of GPUs. So wonder why this matters? Because Amazon needed this. AWS has been lagging in the AI era. Today, it gets a stamp that actually says, still a hyperscaler, still in the game. Amazon shares spiked. Nvidia rose too because somehow in this entire movie, Jensen Huang always gets paid. AWS CEO Matt Garman literally called it this, the backbone for Frontier AI, end quote. Sam Altman replied with this, scaling Frontier AI requires massive reliable compute, end quote. Really? No kidding. OpenAI has actually now officially committed more than $1.4 trillion to infrastructure. Yeah, trillion with a capital T. Economists call this, well, madness. Founders call it momentum. Investors call it too big to fail. Reddit calls it a Ponzi scheme. Meanwhile, models are getting smarter, cheaper, and more agentic. ChatGPT Go is already free in India. Congratulations. This is clearly data gravity, ecosystem lock-in, and user behavior capture. This is the AI trinity. Now, Compute monopoly, modern monopoly, distribution monopoly, chat GPT inside phones, operating systems, apps, browsers, and very soon, Alexa. So imagine this, Alexa, run a GPT agent to automate my life. Suddenly, Amazon becomes useful again because Siri, or well, so-called Apple intelligence, is soon going to be powered by Google intelligence. We actually already covered this very recently on front page. Please make sure to check it out if you haven't already. So now back to the story. As far as India is concerned, already being courted, sovereign compute deals, reliance conversations, local GPU farms, local GP, uh, power hungry data parks. The world is realizing who controls compute, controls intelligence. 
controls economics and goes on to well control nations. This is clearly geopolitics with GPUs. Too much capital? Maybe. A bubble? Possibly. But you don't bet trillions until, until actually you've seen what's coming. Inside OpenAI, insiders whisper one thing. It's working. When? 2026. The year the AI in turn becomes a co-worker. If the breakthrough lands, this becomes history. If it doesn't, well, too big to fail has entered the chat. OpenAI isn't unstoppable, but right now it is undeniable for sure. There is no slowing down. There is no unplugging. There is no wait and see. This is it. The compute race of the century. And if it feels insane, well, that's pretty much because history always looks irrational right before it changes forever.